Hello people, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll see that how we can set up PyCharm in Windows and we can do development like the Linux environment. So you must have heard about this WSL where basically Windows provides a Ubuntu operating system alongside with it and you can have a feel of Linux operating system. There were many hacks before like the bash interpreter or like you use sigwin to have a linux feel in windows but with wsl you can run a ubuntu alongside your windows operating system if you are a software developer you must have faced this issue like in your office you are using mac operating system but you have your own desktop where basically windows is present because most of the desktop in our home contains windows then the project setup becomes very difficult in windows because you are familiar with linux but now you have to do the same thing in windows and there's operating system change and it becomes very difficult so we can go away with all these issues if we use wsl in windows and in this video let's set up pycharm with wsl the first thing that we need to do is download pycharm so let's go to our browser and just search for pycharm and we'll see that what is the first link so the first link comes from JetBrain. go to that we will download the pycharm and here if you can see there's a professional and there's a community edition so we are interested in community edition so just click on it and it will download it so once it is downloaded you will get a exe file and you just need to double click on it follow the steps and the pycharm will be installed so this is a super easy way through which you can install pycharm the next step is to check whether Windows WSL is present or, or not. So we need to go to our Microsoft Store and we'll just click here. The Microsoft Store will open. If we search for Ubuntu, so you can see that we have different options that are present here. Ubuntu 22.04, 20.04, something like that. So this is one of the WSL. You just need to do a get here and it will automatically get installed. So I have already installed one of the Ubuntu WS. So I'm not going to install it again. Let us search Ubuntu again. And here you can see this is the Ubuntu 20.04 operating system. So if I click on that, it will automatically take me to my Ubuntu WSL, which is present on the operating system. So you can see I can do a LS and here everything is present. So this is like WSL is present and then we have already installed PyCharm. Let us open our PyCharm and here you can see this is the PyCharm. So to develop using WSL, we are not going to choose this remote development. What we are going to do, we are going to choose new project and you can search, select any of the options, whichever you want. And in the location, you need to select this one. So in the location, if you see, we have C drive, D drive, F drive, and there will be option of WSL Ubuntu 20.04. So this is the most important step where we will be selecting this one. So now this is Ubuntu 20.04. Inside the home folder, you can have the username. So my username is self -tuts, which was already created. And here you can create any folder. So let me create a folder and I'll say dev. So I'll click on this one. So dev is the folder. So this is the location where my project will be created. And now we need to choose or configure a interpreter. So I'll choose add interpreter. And this is again the next step, which is very important. You need to select on WSL. So once you do it, so this new target WSL will automatically check like which Pythons are present. So you will do next and it will give you the option that Python 3 is present. Now you know that a very important thing in Python development is setting up the virtual environment. So you need to select this virtual environment. You need to click on the folder and then again you need to go to this dev folder where you want to create your project. So I'll click on new folder here. I'll do VENV because VENV says virtual environment. I'll click on OK and then I'll select it. So what will happen? This folder will be considered as the virtual environment folder. So I'll click OK and then create. Choose create from existing sources. So my Python development project is configured here. So if you come to the left hand side, this is the new UI of PyCharm. You can check like how you can configure the new new UI. So here, if you see there's a terminal, I'll click on this one and you can see the local environment will open as dev. See the most important thing I can do source. And if you see here, we are using the Linux command V and we've been activate. And here this will activate my virtual environment. I can do pip install. Let's say there is fast API is one of the pip project. So it will do pip install fast API and see it downloads that from the Python repositories. And finally, we have this fast API present. So now you can do what you can create new any main file, whatever you want, and you can start developing your project. Now, how to access this using the terminal. So in Windows, click on the Windows button and here search for terminal. So once you will hit the terminal, you will see that one of the apps is the terminal. Click on this one 
and here you can see that it automatically takes you to this ubuntu 20.04 so if i do ls so you can see that the dev folder is already present here i can go inside dev i can do source vnv bin activate and you can and here you can see that the python virtual environment is activated you can also go to the wsl if it is if it does not opens directly it's like i can click here and i can select ubuntu 20.04 so in the new terminal you can see that the wsl is opening here and you can do whatever you want so now you can see that using windows using pycharm in windows you can configure the project so this is like awesome i do development in this way only and i suggest that you should also follow the same thing if you are using a windows pc for your development purpose so hope you like this video you can also support me by giving sir thanks on this video please share this to other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you